there is one common unspoken trait about western New York. Vehicles humming along with Ontario license plates are as commonly seen as those with New York plates. It is simply a way of life. Americans and Canadians live together in harmony, going about their business, hardly ever causing each other problems. The same can be said about Canisius basketball. Senior Kiefer Douse and junior Cassius Robertson are two of five Canadians that make up a very diverse roster. That number of five gives Canisius the most Canadian basketball players out of all 347 Division I programs. Both play key roles on a team exceeding all expectations this season, but that doesn't mean the transition to the United States was easy. Um, for sure. I, I wouldn't say the cities were tough. It was just leaving friends and family behind. And um, I still fight that to this day, leaving uh, friends and family. But it's easier now. But um, yeah, that would be the toughest thing is friends and family. I, I like to be close to, to loved ones. So that is my Achilles heel. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's kind of different adjusting to the culture in Buffalo. Um, especially our Canisius, you know, small school. Um, I'm used to a lot of people in the city, so I'm used to a lot of people around me at the same time, you know, we could go outside, do anything. Um, but, you know, I, I, I learned to like it. Um, you know, it's a little quieter, but I learned to like it. The five guys love to show their pride any chance they get. Uh, yeah, even during the summer, I think we did internationals versus Americans, so uh, we always uh, feel like we're the better group, obviously, and um, we, we tend to have a different type of chemistry just coming from the same, the same place. We have a language barrier that we understand, and just, it's just a different culture. When, you have, when you're Canadian, we always look at part as Americans are softer. So we, have, we do have a, 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 a boulder on our shoulder for sure. The whole Canada versus America um, type of argument is, is always, always, always an ongoing argument. You know, they, they love to talk about their army and we love to talk about Canada as the best place in the world. <laughs> and they love to agree but, uh, or disagree. And it kind of goes, you know, kind of goes crazy from there. We've had hour-long arguments about, you know, Canada versus America, so it's, it's, it's been funny for us. It also always gives them a laugh when they find out many from a country so close don't know anything about their culture. Uh, most of them didn't know we have a different Thanksgiving. Our Thanksgiving is uh, earlier than you guys, so that would have been one of my favorite moments. We're in a we're in a huddle and. Um, Everyone's like, oh, it's Thanksgiving today in Canada? We're like, yeah, and they didn't, they just couldn't understand how that could be. So yeah, and another one would probably be Boxing Day. It was just, past, like, it's the day after Christmas, the 26th, and they thought I meant to go boxing. <laughs> We're trying to explain to them, though, it's like your guys' is Black Friday. So that would probably be one of the two funniest moments of being Canadian here. Nationalities aside, the end goal still continues to be staying unified and thriving with defying all odds. Scott Witterowski, GoGriffs.com.